Hello and welcome to Six Minute English. I'm Rob and I'm Finn. Hello, hello, Finn. Did you、uh, have a good weekend? Yeah, it was okay, thanks. Although you know, I'm a bit tired now. All right, why is that then? Well,、uh, it's a bit embarrassing, but I stayed up all night playing a computer game. Ah, all night, hey!、Mm, you must be addicted. <laughs> addicted, by the way, means unable to stop doing something. Well, maybe today's program might have some advice for me. That's right. Today we're discussing whether computer games are bad for our health, and in particular, bad for children. Okay, Rob. Why don't you wake me up a little bit by asking me today's quiz question? Okay, here goes. In America, what percentage of people who play computer games are female? Is it A twenty eight percent, B thirty eight percent, or C forty eight percent? Well, I do know a few female gamers, so hmm, how about B thirty eight percent? Okay, right. Go for the middle option.、Mm -hmm. We'll find out if you're right later on. Okay, so what kind of computer games do you like to play, Finn? Well, I quite like those role-playing games. You know, the fantasy role-playing games. Okay, well, role-playing is where you create your own characters and stories in a fantasy or imaginary world. But to be honest, those kind of games aren't really up my alley, which means、oh, really? <laughs> they're not really suited to my tastes or abilities. Okay.、Um, any other kind of games you like, Finn? Yeah, I also quite like. Shoot 'em up games. All right, right. So these are games where you have to do a lot of shooting. There's a lot of violence. Okay, <laughs> it's funny because you don't strike me as a violent person, Finn. I'm not at all. I wouldn't hurt a fly, Rob. But maybe shooting people on a computer screen seems a bit more harmless. Okay, and not to hurt a fly means to be gentle and unwilling to make people unhappy, and harmless means unlikely to hurt or upset anyone. Well, let's hear Internet Safety Advisor Alan McKenzie discussing how adult computer games can have a negative effect on children. You know, many people understandably will will just think that a game is just a game,、uh, and not realising the the explicit content that's in there. And as you suggest, you know, the, the the violence and the sexualisation of women,、um, in particular, which is wholly inappropriate for for, for anybody, never mind children. Well, you know, if you want my opinion, Rob, a game's just a game. It's generally a harmless form of entertainment. What do you think? I'm torn, actually.、Mm, right. Meaning I'm unable to decide. Most people, like you, Finn, probably aren't affected by what you see in computer games, but we can't ignore the small percentage of people who are affected. Yeah, well, that's true, really, isn't it, Rob? Uh, whilst playing computer games all night doesn't make me violent, it certainly makes me very tired. <laughs> <laughs> see that. But also, Finn, when do you and your wife actually talk to each other when you're in your own computer fancy world for hours on end? Yeah, it's not great, is it?、Um, and for hours on end means a long time, by the way. So oh, I don't know. Maybe if she played as well, then we could have some virtual conversations. <laughs> well, that sounds ridiculous.、Mm. But let's move on. Alan talks about explicit content in games. What does that mean? That means showing things in an open and direct way. So some adult games contain open violence and sexualization. And should we explain what sexualization means? Yes, it means making someone or something sexual. And in this case, women. Now, this might be through the shape of a woman's body, or the clothes she wears, or the way she behaves in these games. Alan says this type of explicit content, violent or sexual, is inappropriate for computer games. And inappropriate means not the right thing for a particular situation.、Mm, and he is worried about children accessing this type of content. Let's hear more from him. What advice does he give? And so it's a matter of、uh, educating the, the, the parents and、uh, the wider community、uh, in these issues, and, and making them aware of the type of content that's in there and why it's inappropriate, and the effects that it may be having on their children and their behaviour. Alan thinks it's the responsibility of parents and the wider community. Now that means other groups of people, such as friends, relatives, and teachers, for example. To check on what children are viewing and playing.、Hmm. But this will only work if they understand which types of content are okay and which aren't. That's right. So the adults need educating too. They need to be shown. Yes, that's right. So I'll be checking on your behaviour from now on, Finn. <laughs> okay, that's that's probably a good idea. So let's hear the answer to today's quiz question next. Yes, and、uh, I asked you in America, what percentage of people who play computer games are female? Is it A twenty eight percent, B thirty eight percent, or C forty eight? 
38%. When I went for the middle option, as usual, mm-hmm. and I said B, 38%. And you are wrong this time, Finn. Ooh. The answer is actually C, 48%. Are you surprised by that? Mm, yes and no. I think a lot more people are playing games in general, so lots of them must be women. Absolutely. Why not? Mm. OK, a y shall we now listen to the words we learned today? Good idea. We heard addicted, fantasy, up your alley, shoot him up, not to hurt a fly, Harmless. For hours on end. Explicit content. Sexualization. Inappropriate. Wider community. Thank you. Well, that brings us to the end of today's Six Minute English. We hope you enjoyed today's programme. You can hear other Six Minute English programmes at bbclearningenglish.com. Please join us again soon. Bye bye. Six Minute English from the BBC.